right after I took office, I worked with a bipartisan group of lawmakers and subject matter experts, law enforcement officials, advocates for survivors and others, to develop legislation that will help prevent another backlog. Um, that legislation was introduced uh, in May of last year. It passed the state Senate on a voice vote. All we need to get that across the finish line is to have that legislation pass the state assembly. But unfortunately, instead of moving forward with that, uh, at really near the end of the session here, a new, uh, new proposal was introduced um, that ha now has passed the state assembly and ultimately is going to kill any progress in this legislative session. Um, I want to see that the assembly take up the bipartisan, expert-supported proposal so we can pass it this session and make sure we never have another backlog. Why did you feel it was necessary to add controversial topics that have divided lawmakers for years, immigration and school choice? So first of all, the immigration component is consistent with federal law. As far as the school choice component, and this is really where the politics all comes in, but it's all being pulled on the Democrat side, right? Because we already have provisions in statutes that say if a child is stuck in a school uh, with a sexual assault perpetrator, uh, that we have provisions where that child can already go to a different school utilizing the open enrollment program. So say it, your uh, proposal does pass both houses, Governor Evers is likely to veto it because he doesn't support those two provisions. So, so if you really it, believe that there is a problem that has to be solved, and the Attorney General and I have had this disagreement right from the start, so if there really is a situation that needs to be resolved, why would you say just because I have a political disagreement with school choice, I'm going to can the whole bill and make sure nothing happens? If that's the case, then you truly don't believe that there is a problem that needs to be fixed. But the fundamental problem with it is if the State Assembly doesn't take up the bipartisan bill with support from experts, what that's going to mean in practice is that nothing will pass in this session. Are you concerned at all that victims uh, that even spoke at the committee hearing don't support this proposal? The victims had their uh, opportunity to get involved with the three bills that went through the legislative process. So to say that they have no input in this bill is just simply untrue. They were involved in the three points. What this boils down to is some people trying to make this into a political uh, move, right, by, by focusing solely on the school choice and solely on the ICE provision. So if you really in your heart believe that we need this legislation to prevent a backlog from ever happening again, to allow your political views against ICE and against school choice to stop all of that, then is really wrong. And if you're willing to do that, then I just question whether you really in your heart believe that there's a problem that can't be solved without legislation. 